Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gon. Let's talk about subtracting fractions. So we have here two problems and later on we will discuss another two problems. So let's get started. We have 2 over 5 minus 1 over 4. Same with adding fractions. What we need to do first is to identify the LCD of these fractions. So between the denominators 5 and 4, the LCD is definitely 20. So what's the next step? We will think of numbers that we need to multiply to 5 to make it 20. So very good. We need to multiply 5 using 4. Meaning, this 2 over 5 must be multiplied by 4 over 4. So what will happen here? This 4 times 2 will become 8. And then for your denominator, we have 4 times 5. That would be 20. Next, this is minus. Copy 1 over 4. Now, what is the number that we need to multiply to 4 to make it 20? Very good. We will multiply it by 5. So this must be multiplied by 5 over 5. Now, 1 times 5 is simply 5 over 4 times 5, which is equal to 20. Since the denominators are the same, it is much easier for us to subtract fractions. So let's subtract the numerators. 8 minus 5, that would be 3. And then copy your common denominator. And as you can see, we have now 3 over 20. The final step is to check if this fraction can be still simplified. So right now, this is al already in the simplified form. So we can declare that 3 over 20 is the final answer. Now let's continue with example number 2. For example number 2, we have 4 over 5 minus 3 over 7. What is the LCD between the denominators 5 and 7? Okay, you're correct. The LCD is 35. So now, we will think of number that we need to multiply to 5 to make it 35. Okay, that's correct. We will multiply it by 7. So this must be 7 over 7 times 4 over 5. Then minus, copy your 3 over 7. So definitely, you know the answer that we need to multiply 3 over 7 by 5 over 5. And let's try to simplify this. 7 times 4, that is 28, over, this will become 35, minus 3 times 5, that would be equal to 15 over 35. Since we already have the same denominators, let us now subtract the numerators. 28 minus 15, that would be 13 over 35. And this is now the final answer. We have 13 over 35. So now let's move on to our next problems. So we have 9 over 10 minus 2 over 4. You can pause the video for a while and try answering the third problem. Okay, let's continue answering it. We have 9 over 10 minus 2 over 4. So as you can see, we have 10 and 4. The question here is that what is the LCD of 10 and 4? The answer is 20. So meaning... We will think of the numbers that we need to multiply to 10 and 4 to make it 20. This fraction must be multiplied by 2 over 2. Okay, so we have 9 over 10, then minus your 2 fourths to make it to make 4 be equal to 20. We need to multiply 4 by 5. So 2 fourths or 2 over 4 
must be multiplied by 5 over 5. And let's multiply 2 times 9, which is equal to 18, over, this is 20, minus 2 times 5, that would be 10, over 20. Now, same process, since we already have 20 in your denominator, we will copy it, and then subtract the numerators, 18 minus 10, that would be 8. For the last step, we need to inspect or check if this answer can be simplified. Since 8 and 20 can be simplified, we need to divide this by how many? By 4. And this is also by 4. In this case, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2 and then 20 divided by 4, that is equal to 5. And as you can see, we can declare as this one as the final answer, meaning the difference between 9 over 10 and 2 over 4 is simply 2 over 5. This is the final answer. Let's move on with the last problem. For the last problem, we are given 7 over 9 minus 2 thirds. So, Let's think about it. What is the LCD between 9 and 3? Okay, that's correct. The LCD is 9. Now, we will think of the numbers that we need to multiply by 9, uh, to 9 and 3, to make it 9. In this case, for this fractions, for this fraction, since the denominator is already 9, we don't need to multiply it by 1 over 1. Okay, so we will just copy 7 over 9 minus copy your two-thirds then this 3 should be multiplied by 3 to make it 9 meaning we will multiply this by 3 over 3 so we will copy 7 over 9 then this is minus 2 times 3 which is equal to 6 over 9 so in this case Copy your denominator, which is common, then 7 times 6, which is equal to 1. This one is already the final answer. So the difference between 7 over 9 and 2 over 3 is simply 1 over 9. So that's it, guys. So as part of our routine, I will give you the last problem, and you will tell me the answer or the difference between these two fractions in the comment section. Let us try... 7 over 8 minus 1 third. So guys, by comments out in comment section, what is your difference or what is your answer in this problem? So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any question or request a topic that you want me to discuss, feel free to comment down below. So that's it guys. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.